head. All right. All right, we need to go max speed. World's hottest gummy bear. It says it's 9 million Scoville. I don't know. USA. It says St. Louis, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was made, I guess it was made in St. Louis. <laughs> dude, fuck. The little nitro challenge. Put it on YouTube. You get a chance to be featured. <laughs> throw that in there. He doesn't look that intimidating, to be honest. He's just a little big guy. He's tiny. Little I won't worry about guy. that little guy. He'll be okay. Probably tastes like cinnamon, really. Yeah. yeah. You want to just put that in a super sweet bag of regular gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the biggest dick move in the world. Well, what I did was. Before I got here, you switched it out. Swap it out. I swapped yeah. it. <laughs> it's a Haribo. It's a what? Yeah, it's a Haribo. He doesn't know what the hell we're saying. You're dumb. I'm just not gonna do it, guys. We can't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Did it. Oh, do it up for at least 30 seconds. It's on the back of the box. <laughs> I got a stopwatch on it. <laughs> you feel it burn yet? How's it taste? You got any flavor? <laughs> no, dude. Just hot? Just dude, my eyes are burning. I haven't yeah. touched my eyes. Wait for your nose to start running. <laughs> Somebody get the gloves. <laughs> get the gloves. Mm. <laughs> Donezo. Down for the count. Chug it. Jesus What's fucking Christ. What's it taste Christ. like, bro? What's it? Is it burning your tongue? Like gonorrhea, dude. Yeah, but it's cold. It's it so sore. What do you. Oh, he did. Dude, his tongue is bleeding. Or it's still a gummy bear on his tongue. Oh, look at him. <laughs> it's getting fucking hotter, dude. You're, you're getting Wait, wider, dude. Dude, dude, is it, uh, your mouth is going now. I don't fucking <laughs> like this. Get some whipped cream in there. Five minutes, there you go. <laughs> whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's dying. Oh, uh, yeah. Dude, fuck this. I need Jesus to piss in my mouth. <laughs> this is gonna hurt coming out. So, we bought some adult diapers, and uh, basically, first one to pee loses. I feel like this is going to be really funny or really weird. <laughs> so what, I guess what we're going to do is finish those, then some kind of challenge, and you do a shot when you do the challenge. All right, let's have the first challenge, though, be trivia. All right, first question, third grade history. <laughs> what type of feather, beginning with the letter Q, did people write with during the Middle Ages? Quill. Correct. The person in a novel who tells the story from a third person perspective is called a what? The narrator. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Where's the longest river in the world? <clears throat> Amazon. Correct. That is correct. You're up, kid. I feel like we're going to a tiebreaker on this one. Third, yeah. third grade might be too low. Maybe. This is for third grade. Third grade history. Third grade history. <laughs> what type of feather, beginning with the letter Q, did people write with during the Middle Ages? A quilt. Can you repeat your answer? <laughs> quilt. Quilt and judges. Judges. There's no. Uh, e uh, 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 that's oh, a fucking blanket. Good. <laughs> that is a blanket. Quilt. Quilt. Same thing. <laughs> person in a novel who tells the story from a third-person perspective is called a what? Isn't that the third person? Remember when that girl called you a model and you walked into that stop sign? <laughs> this is kind of right. This is that, dude. That's your final answer. <laughs> Third person. Narrator? That's correct. There you oh, go, dude. Yeah, Holding it down. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what is the longest river in the world? Nile. Incorrect. It's the Amazon. You're one for three. It's Pacific. 
It's pretty <laughs> The Nile's pretty long too, right? It's pretty long, yeah. It is. How many did you get, Ryan? It is a river also. Damn, I got one, you got three. Wait, which one did you get? The only the one. The, uh, which one did I get? <laughs> the quilt. I said Nile River and I said quilt and not quill. I thought it was quilt. Oh no! I, gave, I asked him to repeat it, I gave it to the judges. I knew it sorry, was a fucking gave it to you. Alright, so he loses, so he's doing a shot of rum chata. We're just kind of making the rules up as we go. Smartest. Indeed. Surprisingly, Dirk is the smartest. Surprise. This round. Two you need to fucking put your legs back together though. This is borderline and not safe for work. This is going on Pornhub. Dude, you bring me a quilt, I will show you how to write with it. Dude, I can write with this goddamn quilt. Can paint with a quilt? Dude, I can't believe I said quilt. No one can. Challenge number two, basketball. Let's get it. Where's the light? He made it. And he hit the lights. All right, so he might be he might be pretty dumb, but he can shoot baskets. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, off the rim! Have fun, buddy. Oh, I thought you were drinking the whole thing. I thought you filled the whole thing up. There you go. Beer number three. Still no wet trousers. Not yet. Yeah! Well, you don't make the rules, dude. What do you I think? Do. Take a shot for just trying to make up the rules. I make the rules. You're taking a shot. I just took one. Again, because you tried to make the rules, dude. No. That's Look, the butt lights my cock. <laughs> well, at least it's at least, at least working. Wow, they're the there. same length. Ah. Oh, God, that should be the fucking thumbnail. That should be. That's too fucking much, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sword fight with your cock. And there went our last viewer. <laughs> I think next challenge should be double or nothing four. Next time we do the basketball one though. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so this bit is taking entirely too long. So we are now just going to put weight on people's bladders if they get a question wrong. And we're going to end this quick. This is a competition. I will not lose. Cuts to him losing. <laughs> okay. What country is both an island and a continent? Australia. <laughs> no, I win right. know the correct. You're asking me the fucking hardest question. I've known what the last the three name? of his. What is cooler? I'm going. And a beer. I'm going. Ah. Who knew that you had to get completely obliterated before you, one of you guys pissed yourself? <laughs> this, this was a shit show. You literally fucking. <laughs>
That's all you need to be, though. You just need to kill one pirate and you're good. Yeah, when they're not expecting it. But how are you going to kill a whole ship of pirates? Pirates don't just come one off. Ninjas are sneaky. No, they're not. The only way they were sneaky was the way that they could blend in with, with the populace because they were poor-ass peasants. What about smoke bombs? They didn't have them. You're going to tell me that's not real, too? No, the Chinese were the only ones that really had a handle of gunpowder at that point in time. This is over.